All right, everybody, welcome in to a new tutorial. This is going to be straight into the point because I've been getting a lot of uh, messages and comments in the video where I did on the Prism Live Studio tutorial where I was talking about OBS plugins and specifically the vertical canvas plugin. So what I did was I uninstalled Prism and we're going to go step by step and I'm going to show you how I did it and we're going to we're going to open it up and we're going to set up the vertical um, plugins into the Prism Live Studio. So I uninstalled Prism, I reinstalled it. So I'm here ready to go It just finished installing. So I'm going to hit start to open it up. Okay, now uh, let's see here. Um, they want you to log in. So what I'm going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to do that for now so we can log in here. Now here we have uh, Prism Live Studio. Okay. Chat for some reason is always on the outside. I'll just put that chat right there. So what you do is when you first open it, you know, you already have this. So what we'll do is we'll click on this and we'll make it a single screen. Now what we'll do is we'll make it bigger. Okay. So I have nothing in here. Everything is already, you know, just blank. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put in the vertical plugins. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out prism. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to go to your local C drive. Okay. You're going to go to users. You're going to go to your, whatever your computer is named here. It's Brian's rig. Click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to the app data folder. Okay. It's the app data folder. Now, if you don't see that, what you do is you right click and it will, uh, you can also, uh, hold on a minute. No, not right click. You view and then you can come down here and you can click hidden items. Sorry, you don't right click. You go up to view and then you click hidden items if you don't see your app data folder. And after you click that, you should see your app data folder. Mine wasn't showing up before. So that's what I did. And my app data folder shows up now. So now we're going to go to app data. We're going to go to local. Now we're going to come all the way down here. And we see we have Prism Live Studio folder right here. I'm going to open that up. We're going to go to OBS plugins. We're going to click that folder 64 bit. And in here we see there is no vertical canvas plugin in here right now. So now what we do is we're going to, and I have two windows open because it's a lot easier to have the two windows open so you can do this the proper way. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to, we have to get the, um, if you downloaded the vertical plugin from 
the OBS website or, or the, the Atom website, all you gotta do is go to the actual download folder that you have. But if you already have the vertical in OBS, like I do, you don't need to go to the download folder. You can just go to your local C drive. You go to your program files. You go all the way down to OBS Studio. You go to OBS Plugins. You go to your 64-bit. If you got 32-bit, you go to 32-bit. Scroll all the way down till you find your vertical canvas, which is right here, verticalcanvas.dll and verticalcanvas.pdb. So what you want to do is you want to click and highlight both. You want to right click, copy. You want to come over here, right click, paste. And now we see we have the vertical canvas DLL in and the PDB file in the Prism Live Studio OBS plugin folder. Okay, so now we're gonna close these out, close this out. Now we're gonna open the Prism Live Studio. We're gonna open the app. You have to make sure that the app is closed when you do this. We're gonna open the app and right here, we see we have vertical, vertical, we have vertical scene transitions right there, and we have vertical scenes right here, and we have vertical sources right here. So very simple to do. Um, I don't know if I mentioned in the tutorial video that you have to go into the app data folder. I'm not sure if I, if I uh, said that, but uh, that's what you have to do. You have to go to the app data folder. So you see here that I, uh, that I, um, had nothing here. Now, when you go here, you can go to your docs and then you see here, I have vertical scene, vertical sources, vertical scene transitions, and the vertical uh, actual preview window. So let me know how it works for you guys, but this is what I did. And I did it right in front of you and you can see that it does work and I'm going to close it out now close it out you come over here and you make sure that it's not open in this area here which it's not I'm gonna open it again and we see vertical still here and it opened I heard stories of people saying it didn't open again after they did it. Um, you know, I don't know uh, what could be causing that. Um, let's see here. We got help. Uh, let's see. About, okay. I don't see anything. I'm looking here to see if, uh, you know, there's anything about updating. I'm sure that if there was an update, it would tell me. Um, but I'm positive sure that I have the actual uh, the uh, let's see here go to help about uh, let's go to about see what about says check for update I'm using the latest version of prism prism live studio 4.4.0 so right there I'm using the newest version alert added when OBS plugs in plugins crash so I have the latest version 
and I just showed you that how to install the vertical canvas from Atom. So thank you everybody. I hope this helps you. If not, if you're still having issues, please hit it down, hit me down in the comment comments below or join the Discord. And what I'll do is I'll put a, a special channel in for uh, OBS and Prism where you guys can go in there and post your questions, post your videos, post your pictures or whatever you need help with. So that that's I'm going to do that um, probably later on today or tomorrow. But this video will be out today. So thank you. And I hope this helps. And I hope to hear from you guys soon. Let me know how how it happened or how you guys did and let me know if it worked thank you peace guys have a great rest of your day